All right, class, I thought I'd put a couple of these even ones on here. Uh, the first one is uh, number 12x minus 4y equals negative 11. Uh, x plus 3y equals 3. I'm going to take the first equation, and I'm going to change it by adding 4y to both sides. I'm going to bring the 4y to that side, so I get this first equation, I get x equals negative 11 plus 4y. And now I'm going to use substitution. So I'm going to take this and put it in for x. So I get negative 11 plus 4y plus 3y equals 3. Combining like terms, I get 3 and 4 make 7y. Add 11 to both sides, I get y, 7 times something equals 14, so y must equal 2. Go back up, put a 2 in here, uh, which one would be easier? Probably doesn't matter, I'll just put a 2 right here. 3 times 2 is 6, something plus 6 is 3, something plus 6 equals 3, subtract 6 from both sides, I get x equals negative 3. x equals negative 3. Alright, does that look like it's a possible solution? Yep, there's a graph that goes along with number 12, and it shows it as a possible solution, or as the solution, so, yep.